Super solid fuzz right here. Yet another great Wampler pedal. I would love for him to make a bad pedal just so I know that he can be bad at something. There are more extreme fuzzes out there, but I would say that this is the best one of its kind. Maybe someone with a more refined taste would have more to say about it, but to me, this stupid pedal is terrific and it is more fun than a super soaker flamethrower. Velveeta. Velveteen. Vacuum. Vivacious. Vitamins. Mm. C. Yeah. Uh, vitamin C. Oh. Yeah. Great. Prevent scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prevent sadness? With this. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. But this is fine. This is all fine. So this pedal. It's, this is, it's, it? it's fine. Did you, how did you feel about it? Um, it's fine. No, uh, honestly. Uh, it does some really interesting things in the low end that I thought were, were kind of interesting. Almost like a, like it's like a, a hyper compressed. Uh -huh. It's like as I was playing through it, if I hit it really hard, it just like because you know distortion is like that natural form of compression. It just felt like the ceiling and it was really there. Okay. Like almost like I, I the, the um, clipping. Yeah, that, they mentioned that I read the manual, a uh, part of the manual, not the entire manual, but I read a part of it, and that is that is the feature of it is that clipping, just that, yeah, just blocking everything off or cutting everything off. I like the sound of it though. It's uh, another like quality pedal. That dingus always making Brian, just making pedals. Brian, you, you Brian. with your Wampler pedals. When there's trouble, you call BW Brian <laughs> Wampler. <laughs> When there's trouble with bad pedals, that's who you call. Uh, no, it's a great pedal. It just it like pedal. it's just like a super quality pedal. Everything mm. he does is quality, quality. The difference between turning on the tight though and the big is incredible. Yeah, I didn't like that. I actually, I don't know if it, maybe it was just our pedal, but uh, there was a lot of noise when I switched it back and forth. Yeah, I don't know I, if it's a deal breaker. I know you're not like switching that with your foot in the middle of uh, opening for you know, payment Paula or something. You're not like some huge issue probably, but it was just kind of like a little, a little thing that I noticed. Just a little bit of noise. Doesn't hurt anybody. No. No. I liked how wide the, uh, the, the, the fuzz knob. So we can't do sustain because electroharmonics and we can't do drive because it's fuzz. I get it. Or gain. I get it. 
Is so it just not really wants a fuzz knob. Yeah, you just gotta have a fuzzy. It's a fuzzy knob. It is a fuzzy, fuzzy wuzzy. Mm-hmm. Fuzzy wuzzy was a knob. Fuzzy. Great pedal. Uh, it, it's another $200 entry for Wampler. It, I don't think it's worth $200. <gasps> I don't think it's worth $200. I think, what? I think if it was $100 or $120, I think it would be worth it. Especially with like all of the electro harmonic fuzzes that are out there that sound pretty damn good for the price. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's you like may, I can buy the there. triangle for a hundred bucks or I can buy the Wampler Velveteen Fuzz. Velveta Fuzz. For twice as much. For t- yeah, twice the twice the cost. Actually, it does have more versatility. Okay. But I don't think That's the versatility. That's another versati- V word. <laughs> I don't but I don't think that the the um, versatility is worth the extra money. But I do like the pedal. Yeah. Kind of a mixed review, I think, if you kind of gather all that together. Yeah. The tones are great, the build quality is great, but I think the cost is a bit more than the pedal is worth. It's worth considering. De- definitely. If you're looking for another flavor of fuzz, this is definitely a great avenue to go down. You know what else is worth considering? This high five right now. 